I'm very grateful to our beloved, inspiring teacher, Evelyn, for this invitation to contribute a message to the world. And I would like to do something a little bit out of the ordinary and reflect upon a discussion, quite a famous one, in Talmudic literature between two great sages of the second century of the Common Era, who are discussing what is the great principle of the Torah, the great principle of the biblical revelation, the great principle of Judaism. And Rabbi Akiva says it is the verse in Leviticus 19.18, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself, I am the Lord. His colleague Ben Azai says there is an even greater principle than that, and that is the principle in Genesis that the human being is created in the divine image. Now, if one looks at the discussion only up to that point, one might think that it is discussing the matter of particularity and universality, whether it's just loving a neighbor who is close by as opposed to perhaps uh, a one that is more embracing of the whole of humanity. But in the fuller text that we have, it continues with the comment that as follows, lest you say, because I was cursed, or because I was despised, so let my fellow be cursed, or my fellow be despised. So we can see that in fact what Ben Azai is concerned with is not a narrow interpretation of the term neighbor, there doesn't seem to be any consideration of that possibility. What he is concerned with is the possibility that someone will say, love your neighbor as yourself means I should treat my neighbor the way I was treated. And because I was not treated nicely, I don't need to treat my neighbor nicely. And especially in light of the fact that the language suggests a sense of humiliation, because I was humiliated, therefore I don't have any sense of responsibility to behave in a different way towards other people. And there is an addendum to this debate, with a third rabbi, Rabbi Tanhuma, coming in and saying, if you do so, that is, if you say, because I was cursed or humiliated, so let my fellow be cursed or humiliated, know who it is whom you curse or despise, whom you humiliate because in the image of God he made the human person. In other words, any act of disregard for human dignity is ultimately a disregard for God. It is the ultimate religious impiety. And perhaps there is a deeper message even beyond that in Ben Azai's words, in that he is saying that we cannot truly love one another if we do not appreciate the dignity of one another. And when we recognize each other as a child of God, creating the divine image, we affirm the dignity of the other. That is essential to be true love of one another. We cannot have a truly loving society unless human dignity is affirmed by all. May we live up to this wonderful charge.